Good morning, this is Sakamal Magalas, your subject teacher for Practical Research 2. Title Defense Questions commonly asked during title defense and how you should answer them. Number 1. What is the overall study all about? Ano ang pangkalatang paksa ng ating aalamin sa inyong research? Briefly discuss the background of your study. Isang maikling pagtatalakay sa background ng inyong research. You may optional and choose to give a brief history or origin how the issue evolved or developed. Maaari kang magbigay na maikling kasaysayan ng pinagmulan kung paano nabuo ang issue ng inyong research. Or how it affects the current situation in your local, focus area, school, or classroom. At kung paano ito makaka-apekto sa kasalukuyang sitwasyon sa inyong lugar, paaralan, o silid-aralan. Example, research title, The Impact of Cyberbullying to the Academic Performance of Senior High School Student in University of Nueva Caceres, Bataan. Cyberbullying is bullying that takes place over digital devices like cell phones, computers, and tablets. It includes sending, posting, or sharing negative, harmful, false, or mean content about someone else. Cyberbullying has been deemed a public health problem with the prevalence of cyberbullying doubling from 2007 to 2019, according to Ada Chung 2021. From her stress management, the psychology of cyberbullying. In general, cyberbullying is a recent issue with increasing number of people using the internet. For this reason, it remains not well understood. In addition, much of the focus is on how cyberbullying affects the victim without a lot of focus on how to cope with cyberbullying, how to reduce cyberbullying, or what to do if you are a cyberbully yourself. With this research study, we can work toward establishing systems that prevent cyberbullying from taking place. Dito, nagbigay tayo ng maikling tayag tungkol sa background ng ating research. Binigyan din din natin ang pinagmulan kung paano nabuo ang issue ng ating research. Panghuli, kung paano ito nakaapekto sa kasalukuyang sitwasyon sa isang lugar. Number 2. Why did you choose this topic? Baakit mo pinili ang paksang ito? What critical factors would convince the panel that there is a need to conduct the study? Ano mga critical na mga kadahilanan ang maaaring kumumbinsi sa panel na kailangang isagawa ang research na ito? Present evidence, data, researches, and other studies that would support your claim there is a need to conduct the study. Magbigay ng mga data at iba pang mga pag-aaral na sumusuporta sa inyong research upang magpatunay na ito ay kinakailangang gawin. Example, according to UNICEF Philippines, the United Nations Organization Working for Children's Rights published last September 6, 2019, one in three young people in 30 countries said they have been a victim of online bullying, with one in five saying they skip school due to cyberbullying and violence. We, as a senior high school student, also experienced this kind of bullying even in our junior high school years. Due to this, and with the statistics given by the UNICEF, it is an alarming issue that triggered the group to decide in conducting a research study about cyberbullying in the University of Nueva Caceres, Bataan. If the panelists suggest something in your research title, always practice humility, accepting recommendation presented by the panel with an open mind and grateful heart. Kung magmumukahi ang panelis ng isang bagay sa inyong research title, laging magpakumbaba at tanggapin ang mga rekomendasyong inilahad ng may bukas, naisipan, at mapagpasalamat na puso. Maaari mong isagot ang, Thank you sir or thank you ma'am for that insightful recommendation. We will take that in consideration. Number 3. How will your study contribute to the existing body of knowledge? Paano makatutulong ang inyong pag-aaral sa mga nauna ng mga research? 
This part of the title defense asks you what will be the benefit of your study. How will this be different from other studies conducted? Will your contributed knowledge be beneficial and who will be benefit from it? Sa bahaging ito, nagtatanong sa inyo kung ano ang magiging mga pakinabang ng inyong research. Paano ito magiging kakaiba sa iba pang mga pag-aaral na isinagawa na? At kung sino-sino ang makikinabang dito? You need to convince the panel that these benefits are worth it and will contribute to the existing body of knowledge. Kailangan mong kumbisin ng panel na ang mga benepisyo na ito ay napakalaga at makatutulong na dagdag information sa existing na mga research. Tip, answer the question given by the panel directly. If you are asked to explain, then that will be the time to discuss and expound your answer. Sagutin ng diretsa ang mga tanong na ibinigay ng panel Kung hinihiling kang ipaliwanag, iyon ang panahon para talakayin at ipaliwanag ang inyong sagot. Also, do not allow your panel members to intimidate you with a statement like, This study has been conducted by plenty people already. I do not see how it can add to existing knowledge. O kaya ang madistract ka ng mga miyembro ng panel sa mga pahayag kagaya ng ang pag-aaral na ito ay isinagawa na ng maraming tao. Hindi ko makita kung paano ito makakadagdag sa existing ng research. The first secret in countering that statement is by using your area or case study as a major contribution to knowledge. Paano nga ba natin sasagutin ang ganitong uring tanong? Ang sikreto sa pagsagot ng tanong na ito ay ang pagsagot kung saan gagawin ang research study. Dahil higit na makatutulong ang research study kung gagawin ito sa iba pang lugar o paaralan kung saan ito ay hindi pa nagagawa ng kung sino mang researcher. Remember, you have got to be smart and logical here. Example, the research study will be conducted in the University of Nueva Caceres, Bataan, where cyberbullying issue has never been conducted as a research and it will be contribute a lot in the existing body of knowledge. Number 4. What research variable did you use? Anong mga variable? Sa research study, ang ginamit mo. Research variables are first seen in your research title, which the panelists are already looking at. Identify these variables. Ito ay makikita sa inyong research title. Ating alamin ang iba't ibang research variable. Example, independent variables sa aking example is cyberbullying. Dependent variable is the academic performance of the senior high school student in UNC Bataan. The intervening variable is performance of the student, whether they get a high or low grades. Number five, who are the participants of the study? Research participants are first seen in your research title, which the panelists are already looking at. Identify the participant and give a brief explanation why you choose them as your research participant. Kagaya ng variable, ito din ay makikita sa ating research title. Ating alamin kung sino ang participant sa ating example. The participants in the study are the senior high school student in University of Nueva Caceres, Bataan. We choose a student as a participant because according to National Center for Educational Statistics 2019, one out of every five student report being bullied. We also consider the age group of the participant being the seniors in this school. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.